अस्तिस्यां दिशि देवतात्मा हिमालयो नाम नगाधिराज पूर्वापर तो ये निधि वगाह्य स्थित पृथिव्या इव मानदंड we have to start with the stuti here deva krita stuti the last shloka that we ended was atha sarvasya dhataram te sarve sarvato mukham vagisham vagbihi arthyabihi pranipatya upatasthire all of them all of those devas you know you have uh, 33 koti Uh, uh, devas and all of them were surrounding the uh, brahma the uh, surrounding brahma and he had mukham in all four directions sarvato mukham dahataram uh, vagisham he was also the isha ishvara of vak vak devi uh, arthyabihi vagbihi with words that were uh, um, meaningful with words that were uh, appropriate for him which were perfect for uh, brahma pranipatya they do a did their namaskaram to him and then started to praise him upatasthire what is their stuti that stuti forms from the next part so if you if you look at the stuti right from the beginning itself it is a complete nirguna stuti uh, how nirguna brahma became saguna brahma and how the jagat srishti happened so this stotram is more like a stotram to para brahma and not to brahma chaturmukha brahma as such even in the uh, sixth sarga where saptarishi is come and uh, praise shiva there to it's this very similar uh, praise is given for shiva there and in uh, raghuvamsha there is a similar praise to vishnu also as para brahma as the atma swarupa and not specifically as the saguna brahma he starts off with the nirguna brahma and goes on to talk about the saguna brahma so namas namo astu amurtaye tubhyam praksrishtehe kevalatmane gunatraya vibhagaya paschat bhedam upeyushe namaha astu amurtaye namaha astu let there be a namaskaram for salutations to the form that did not have a form before krishna srishti so amurtaye tubhyam namaha astu salutations to you who is who was formless amurtaye prak srishtehe before creation kevalatmane who was the who was only as an atma swarupa who did not have any other swarupa before the srishti so prak srishtehe kevalatmane one who was of the form of only atman and then became divided afterwards paschat bhedam upeyushe one who attained a bheda difference later paschat bhedam upeyushe praptavate one who had attained a bheda difference according to prakriti because of the association of prakriti the gunatrayam which is a part of the prakriti became associated with the atman otherwise the atman does not have any of these type of uh, bheda differences so gunatraya vibhagaya namaha astu after that uh, paschat bhedam upeyushe before srishti one who was just a single atman who afterwards divided himself into three gunas gunatraya vibhagaya sattva rajas and tamas these are the three gunas that got manifested and because of those three gunas after that paschat bhedam upeyushe so there are three steps here in this shloka the first is amurti one who is formless before srishti kevalam atma swarupa so one who was did not have a form and before srishti one who was only of the swarupa of atma and it was the only thing that was present so uh, bra- there is only one entity prakriti is mitya there right gunatraya vibhagaya that gunatrayam which we say that it is the prakriti uh, gunam because brahman is the upadana karanam for prakriti the gunatraya vibhaga also has been spoken of as superimposed on the atma swarupa so he does not have a bhedam he does not have any differences but those three gunas 
which are a part of prakriti when this atma swarupa comes in association with the prakriti we think that the guna trayam are present in the atman right paschat after those three bhedas those sattva rajas and tamas come to the atman you have the different forms and the srishti creation happens paschat bhedam upayushe then he takes a diff, three different forms of brahma vishnu and shiva because of the uh, um, each guna represents the kriya okay that particular action we can look at the vyakhyanam where he explains more upayushe ityukte ha upayushe praptavate upa upasarga in gatau tatra kvasu iti pratyayah asti it's a very interesting pratyayam kvasuscha is the sutram there and uh, kvasu pratyaya is added in place of lit say you talk of shatra pratyaya Uh, as continuous lat lat in place uh-huh. of lat uh-huh. huh. whereas kwasu is a pratyaya in place of lit parokshe lit atra gunatraya vibhagah bhedam whenever the atma swarupa got the bheda that is something which is paroksham it cannot be viewed by our indriyas so lit pratyaya instead of the lit pratyayam which is paroksham which is indicative of paroksha see here these are all examples of where the pratyaya has a significance in the meaning oh okay hmm. if you look at the dhvani there see it is just upayu bhed paschat bhedam upayushe one who after srishti one who got the difference of brahma vishnu and shiva So उपेयुषे इत्यत्र उपेयिवान् इति उपेयि याय ल आई थिंक याय इज़ द लिट फॉर्म उपेयि याय इंस्टेड ऑफ़ दैट यू पुट इन उपेयिवान् लाइक अ शत्रु प्रत्ययम यू टेक इट एस क्वसुप प्रत्यय एंड देर द मीनिंग इज़ कर्त्रते भवती कर्त्रते भवती यहाँ प्राप्तवान् इति परंतु प्राप्तवान् इति यदा तब तो प्रत्यय उपयुज देंोचर नोचर निर्विष्ट विषय स्ने स दशा उपेयिवान् आसी दासन्न निर्वाण प्रदीपाचिषि दिस् इज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दशरथ वेर इट इज इन द ट्वेल्थ सर्ग इन द फस्ट श्लोक इज दिस् निर्विष्ट विषय स्ने दशरथ सो हिस् इनवाल्वेंट इन द विषय इन द वर्ल्ड हेज कंप्लीटली गॉन् दशा उपेयिवान् वन हू इज अबउट टू Uh, 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 go, go to his end who is in the vardhakya avastha hmm. vardhakya avastham praptava nobody can understand that one has you cannot witness that vardhakya avastha directly through indriyas hmm. when do you say that okay from this day on he has attained the vardhakya avastha can you pinpoint and say that it is perceivable at from this point no hmm. you can't right suddenly one day you will find that oh when did he become old correct <laughs> you know you use that expression you never say that oh he has become old here so you will mm-hmm. never realize when someone has become old until one day you see some gray hairs here or mm-hmm. you see that he is losing memory something or the other will be an indicatory factor there mm-hmm. right That, that's why he uses that parokshe lit that kwasu pratyaya the prathama vibhakti there is upayivan upayushe here is uh, chaturthi vibhakti oh okay 
दशातम उपेयन तत्र अस्त क्लियर सो अथ तचिक उपस्थान प्रपंचयती सो उपस्थान स्त्रोत्र वाचिक स्त्रोत्र मानसिक स्त्रोत्र तो सर्व क्रीयते एव्रीबडी मानसिक इज समथिंग दट यू कैनाट पुट इट इन वर्ड्स only that those stotram that they have used the vachika abhinaya here and they have done a stotram here that he is explaining so vachikam upasthanam prapanchayati namo astu ityadi bihi ekadasha bihi shlokaihi 11 shlokas form the stuti for brahma tatra aado brahmanah trimurti srishtau hetutvam ah brahma here chaturmukha brahma is being viewed as brahman para brahman he is being looked upon by the devas as the atma swarupa brahmanah trimurti srishto so one who was the atma swarupa before became the trimurti so that srishti is being described here and this chaturmukha brahma whose adishtana bhutam whose adishtanam is para brahman he becomes the hetu for trimurti srishti Yeah. So, tubhyam namaha astu. Tubhyam. Just this uh, first sentence, uh, prapanchayati. What is the meaning there? Ah, prapanchayati. Prapancha always means describes. Describes. Uh, elaborates. Yeah. Right. Pancha, uh, even for a uh, uh, simha's face, he is called uh, um, uh, a simha is prapancha, right? Pra- the, Panchanana. 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 Huh. Pancha Mukha, Pancha na na. It is that is a name of a simha where the face is very wide. So anything that you want to elaborate is the word is pancha. Panchyate it is prakarshena panchyati. It is being elaborated well. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So tubhyam namaha astu. तुभ्यं नमस्वस्ति इत्यादिना नमः शब्द योगे चतुर्थि नमस्वस्ति स्वाहा स्वधालम वषड योगाच्च दैट इज द सूत्रम देयर बाय व्हिच नमः इति नमस्कार वाचकम अव्ययम टू होम द सैल्यूटेशंस आर गिवन दैट पर्सन इज पुट इन चतुर्थि देयर सो अस्तु भवतु नमः अस्तु नमस्कारः भवतु अस्माभिः कृतः नमस्कारः एतादृशाय भवते भवतु Uh, everything is an adjective for tubhyam here so kidrishaya iti akankshayam brahmanah murtitraya srishtehe purva avastham ahuhu before the trimurti uh, creation happened what was the purva avastha there srishte prak kevalatmane amurtaye one who was formless before srishti and one who was the only entity that was present then केवल आत्मा केवल अद्वितीय सो सृष्टे प्राक त्रिमूर्ति सृष्टे पूर्वावस्थायां केवल आत्मने एकात्मने हि कोट्स फ्रॉम अमरा हियर निर्णीते केवलम इति त्रिलिंगम तो एक कृष्णयो इति अमरा व्हेन यू यूज द वर्ड केवलम इट आल्सो मींस निर्णीतम इति केवलम दिस इज द ओनली डिसीजन दैट यू हैव कम अबाउट you can use it in the meaning of decision also iti nirnitam siddhantam iti kevalam this is the only uh, ultimatum you know you can use it in that sense also if it is used in three linga in all three lingas it can mean ekaha eka ekam you can use kevalaha kevala kevalam kritsnam you can also use it in the form of purnam complete kevalam so here you take it as ekam ekameva advitiyam brahma right sadeva somya idam agra asit that was the only thing that was present before which became uh, uh, later after srishti there was bheda okay so advitiyaya ityarthah so kevalatmane here means advitiya atma ityarthah atayeva amurtaye asharīraya so when you talk of shariram immediately duality arises so that is why when you have to say that was the kevala atma eva tatra a murtaye did, did not have a second there so there is a you you are negating the presence of another object 
at the time when there was only one object present there was only one atman present before ekatma did it have any form no amurtaye so there was no form for it before because the moment you talk about a sharira then you are talking of a bheda so sadeva somya idam agra asit ekameva advitiyam brahma so that was the only thing that was present there nothing else just like how mrit mrit is the only thing that was present and that totally became transformed into a a pot right <clears throat> this is one there are also chandogya upanishad quotations bhagavan eka asit agre atma atmanam vibhu you know, the one who encompasses everything and that atma was present in the beginning okay पश्चात सृष्टि अनंतर तो भवान्कते आफ्टर सृष्टि यू आर् दि ओनली पर्सन हू इज फॉर्मले हू आर् दि ओनली पर्सन एंड एट दि टाइम ऑफ क्रियेशन वेन यू गॉट असोसिएटेड विथ द थ्री गुण यू वर् भाषते यू वर् Uh, shining or you were shining forth as tri tridha bhasate hmm? ityahu hu paschat bhedam upayushe paschat srishtehe urdhva kalam bhedam brahma vishnu brahma ah, brahma iti uh, there is a hraswam there okay brahma vishnu shivatmana traividhya vyavaharam upayushe praptavate namaha astu Trividya prapto he to to maha. What is the reason for getting those trividyam? He has to have the guna traya for him to get that bheda. Guna traya vibhaga can be taken as he as soon as he got those three gunas, he was looked upon as Brahma during Shruti kalam and Vishnu as Thiti kalam and Shiva during Pralaya kalam, and then the the uh, that is when he got this bheda. सो गुणा सत्वरज तमसा गुण तेन विभाग पृथक भाव यस्म नम अस्त सो गुण विभागा नम अस्त इट टेक्सेशन दिसटेशन इज ऐक्चुअली फ्रम पंचपादिका विवरण सो ब्रह्मसूत्र भाष्यम रिटन बै शंकर एंड पंचपादिका रिटन बै हस्तामल पद्मद is the same i think and uh, uh, padma padas uh, pan- panchapadika uh, uh, vivaranam was written on panchapadika by prakashatma yati this is the mangala shlokam for that uh, shloka for that uh, text panchapadika vivaranam palane vimala sattva vrittaye janma karmani rajo jushe laye tamasaya jagatam parakrita dvaita jala vapushe namaha astu te this is very similar to the mangala shlokam of kadambari also रजोजुषे जन्मनि सत्वृत्त स्थित प्रजा प्रलये तमस्पृशे अजाय सर्ग स्थिति नाश हेतवे त्रयी मैया त्रिगुणात्मने नम इट्स द सेम ऐडिया दट इज बीन सेट इन दिस कुमार संभव श्लोक आलो एंड इन दिस पंचपादिका विवरण मंगल श्लोक पालने वेन् ड्यूरी पालन ड्यूरी स्थिति काल विमल सत्वृत्त one who has to uh, namaha astu so salutations to you namaha astu te salutations to you who during palanam during the sthiti kala who has the sattva guna sattva vritti which is extremely pure that is devoid of sat- rajas and tamas it is a shuddha sattva pradhanam when there is a sthiti kala janma karmani rajo jushe one who has rajaha rajo gunam Jush, jushate is sevate one who adopts the rajoguna during janma karma during creation okay? janma karmani rajo jushe laye tamasaya during laya during dissolution one who is of the form of tamoguna one who takes up tamoguna hmm? tamo tamaha asya asti iti tamasaha right? he is not tamoguna Tamoguna is prakriti guna. He is, takes on the prakriti guna, prakriti is guna of tamaha, and performs an action so that he can let go of it after playa and stay as atma swarupa. That's why he doesn't say tamaha laye. Instead of that, he says tamasa. Yeah, he uses the uh, uh, tadhita pratyada. 
you need grammar so much to explain the dhvani <laughs> otherwise it's difficult jagatam uh, aha so this jagatam would go with jagatam palane jagatam janma karmani jagatam laye cha etadrisha guna yuktaya atmane parakrita dvaita jala vapushe one whose vapuhu form is parakrita is does not have the dvaita jalam any duality in him even though he takes on all of these gunas and does it is the only form that does all of these three work right when when it is jnana swarupa it is spoken of as karanam when it is a kriya swarupa it is spoken of as a karta otherwise it doesn't have any of these gunas in it hmm without vedanta shastra you cannot explain this kavyam how much of a shastra kavi kalidasa is right yeah so namo astu amurtaye tubhyam prak srishtehe kevala atmane gunatraya vibhagaya paschad bhedam upeyushe so one who is the nirguna brahma who takes on these three uh, gunas gunatraya vibhaga he takes on sattva rajas and tamas and that is how tad aikshata bahusyam prajaye eti idam sarvam asrjata yadidam kincha satcha tyaccha abhavat right one who satapotapyata he thinks he has to become a lord so tad aikshata he thinks he has to create so bahusyam prajaye ya iti so bahu syam i will become many in the sense I, it is only one so that many is the, the the one atma is the aadhara swarupa for everything else it is the upadana karanam and the nimitta karanam abhinna nimitta upadanam is a concept in vedanta right namos luta luta pita ya luta tantu tamasam enna sonninga ha tamasam tamateyam tanala enna vyangyam varudhu so tamo guna te eduthin irukkar he has taken that tamo guna he is not of the form of tamas it is not tamas which automatically does the work on its own you need a chetanatvam for the tamo gunam to perform hmm so tamasaya namaha ityukte tamaha tamo guna tatra swikrutaha atmana tamo tamo guna यद्यपि तमो गुण विशेषेण लय जायते तथा चेतन विना तमो गुण स्वतंत्रतया इट के नाट आक्ट सो इवर एड्त प्रत्यय इज मोर लाइक इट इज नाट तमसे नम इले सो इट इज तामसाय नम सत्वृत्त वन हू हेकन अप सत्वृत्ति यजगुण युषते सेवते सह निर्गुण सह एक गुण स्वीकृत तत्कारण तत्क्रिया कर्त सगुण आवश्यक तम गुणमेव स्वीकृत तत्कार्यम करोती ही डज नाट हेव एन असोसिएशन विद गुण निर्गुण सह गुण स्वीकृत करोती बट वेर इज दट गुण प्लेस्ड वेन् यू टेक गुण गुण तो आधार विन तिषति सो दट गुण हेज टू बी विथ हिम दर्ज नो अदर पर्सन अदर देन हिम you cannot say that the prakriti acts on its own so he becomes the abhinna upadanam there abhinna nimitta upadanam he becomes the nimitta karanam because he takes on the guna and that guna cannot exist something somewhere else other than himself so he becomes the upadana karanam also there ha hmm for it ha it became a big shastra <laughs> class but then see that's what i keep saying you know this is otherwise you can't explain it no <laughs> for a moment i thought we were in some vedanta class here <laughs> but what to do I, i mean the words he has used 
this is the way you, that's why you know kalidasa when they say he is he is uh, shringara kavi you uh, no he is not you will have to look at the three uh, uh, mangala shlokas of uh, shakuntalam and malavika agnimitram and uh, uh, vikram urvashiyam to understand what sort of a vedanti he is and not a shringari he yes he he with equal amounts of dedication he he portrays both shringara but more than that i think the vedantam that is present in him is what makes him describe the shringara also in a very tasteful manner namostu amurtaye tubhyam prak srishtehe kevalatmane gunatraya vibhagaya paschad bhedam upeyushe <coughs>